If you need some coins to add some ballers to your team, make sure you go ahead and check out mudreserve.com. Fast service, great rates, no need to rely on pack luck. Get yourself some coins, buy the players you want, use code SPREE at checkout for 15% off. What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having another fantastic day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another No Money Spent episode. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm super hyped for this one. We have been grinding, we've been building up our stack. We've been talking about doing some upgrades to the defense for a while now. Today, more than a million coins spent upgrading the defense. The defense is gonna look completely different. We're gonna have a bunch of new ballers added to the team. I am super hyped to make these changes. Before we get into it, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the content, if you are a fan of the No Money Spent series definitely consider popping down hitting that subscribe button down below if you like the video go ahead hit that little thumbs up down below as well but let's get into it let's go make some upgrades to the team now as you guys can see Barry Sanders has sold 970,000 coins he is essentially going to bankroll all of these upgrades we're making to the team I asked you guys in the last no money spent episode should we keep him should we sell him a lot of you guys said we should sell him so we sold him I do have a guy in mind who I want to add to the team use some of the coins it is a new guy that was just released that looks absolutely glitchy but we'll talk about that a little bit later on that is going to be on the offensive side of the ball today we are focusing on the defense jumping on in to check out the defense as you can see we're not looking the greatest but we do have a few playmakers 95 overall Sam Mills is right there in yesterday's video I talked about how you could grind out and pick that man up while you're working towards reaching max mutt level so that guy is an absolute baller we do have a few other pieces that I like like Jamal Adams Lawrence Taylor Isaiah Simmons we've also got this Leroy Glover so we do have a bit of a foundation for this defense but overall I just want to add some ballers to the team we need more speed some more playmakers we are going to go in we're going to make a bunch of upgrades we're going to power up a bunch of players we're going to look at abilities look at chemistries and then see what our defense is going to look like after all of those upgrades to get us started with the upgrades I want to finish off this Sam Mills now we can put any team chemistry on him and I want to go with the Ravens we have Lamar Jackson we have Darren Waller there are a few guys with Ravens already I wouldn't be surprised if we start building towards a half a Ravens theme team maybe even the 49ers but for now I think the Ravens are the way to go in terms of chemistries we're gonna go with lockdown I want a boost for all of my cover guys so man coverage zone coverage getting a little bit more press as well I think that's gonna be super important now we only have a few guys with lockdown at the moment but as you can see plus one zone coverage to Sam Mills that means he is gonna hit that threshold he's gonna break on the ball really really quickly so having a really good Good coverage linebacker in the middle of the field this guy is just going to be able to make plays for us sticking with the linebackers as you can see we've picked up all of the pieces for Lawrence Taylor now it costs about 300k if you want to buy him outright if you go ahead and snipe the pieces it cost me around 240k I know you could do it a little bit cheaper as well so that was such a good deal 240k for the best pass rusher in the game with that addition we're going to be able to add that piece to the power up we are going to have ourselves a 91 overall Lawrence Taylor added to the team such a glitchy player the other thing we can do now that this man is 90 overall we can add edge threat to him now I don't know if edge threat is still the move I know a lot of people are still running edge protectors but we are going to go with edge threat see if he can ball out for us we can go back to under pressure if need be now with lockdown he's going to get a few more boosts but as a pass rusher he's not really going to get anything that's going to really help him but as you can see 88 speed 91 excel 87 block shed 90 power move 88 finesse move this guy is going to be a freak for us I am so dang hyped next up we want to look at safeties and we are making one new addition to the team safeties are super important in my scheme they're all over the field I need a guy that's going to be good in coverage good hit power nice and tall gonna to make plays and I don't think anyone embodies that more than this man Steve Atwater now as you can see we've gone ahead and picked up his power up from completing this challenge almost 2,000 training to upgrade this man to his 87 overall I have gone ahead and picked up his 89 overall it was going for around 130,000 coins so I thought I'd snap it up while I could and we have this man a 90 overall free safety ranging all over the field for us now now if we go ahead and check out our stats as you can see we are up to 89 zone coverage we will add enough guys to that lockdown chemistry to boost that up to 90 he is also going to hit that threshold this guy is just going to make plays for us as well so that's going to be our only addition to the safety group now I am hopeful we are going to get someone like Sean Taylor over the the next little bit 
I have been dropping absolutely fire cards. So I'm holding out, hoping we get someone like that shortly. But we're going to hold on to Jeremy Chin. He is going to be a spy for us a lot of the time. He plays a lot at linebacker. So he's still going to be good for us with our high speed. Earlier in the week, we bit the bullet, picked up Jamal Adams. It was maybe 60, 70k for his power up. Way too expensive, but we haven't boosted up to an 88 overall. The current plan is once we reach max mutt level i'm going to use the power up pass on him make sure we can boost him up all the way to the 91 overall he is that card looks crazy as well and don't forget about this man isaiah simmons he is our user we're going to keep acrobat on him he makes a lot of plays for us i'm a big fan of this card there is no way he's going to be leaving the team next up moving on to the defensive line as you can see Leroy glover now we did have ed mccaffrey before i really liked ed but he wasn't seeing my field so thought I'd go with a position that I could actually use. So we have Leroy Glover. I've just switched him up so we have the Ravens version of him as well. Now there are two tokens that we could go ahead and pick up, spend the 30k, but I'm sure I will earn them over the next little bit. So we are going to hold off, keep him at his 90 overall. This guy is still going to be able to make plays for us. He has the lockdown chemistry as well to give us that boost, but we will have a 91 overall Leroy Glover on the team very shortly, I'm sure. The final addition to the defensive line, we are going to fully power up Miles Garrett. Now to make that upgrade plus some of the other upgrades we have planned, we do need some training. I have these collectibles. I had hoped we could save them, hold on to them, wait for the training value to go up, but we need the training now, so I'm going to quick sell those. We'll take another 6,000 training right there. With that training, we can put it to good use and we can fully upgrade this man, Miles Garrett. This guy's balled out for us. I'm sure he's going to ball out for us when he is boosted up to his 90 overall as well. Now I did go ahead and add edge threat back to this man. He's been getting a lot of pressure for us. Hopefully he can keep doing it now i'm not 100 sure how much we've spent on the defense so far probably around 500 000 coins but we do have a lot more upgrades to do and they are all going to be at the cornerback position cornerbacks are super important we need guys that are going to ball out for us starting off with our new slot cornerback we are going to go with denzel ward now this guy's power up is still expensive i think i got mine for around 60 70 000 coins definitely overpaid but i was a bit impatient i don't have the coins to pick up his ltd but if we go ahead and check out his stats 92 speed, 92 excel, 88 man, 88 press, solid zone coverage as well. This guy's going to do a great job of locking down the field for us. Now, if you've been playing weekend league, if you've played head-to-head -head seasons, you would have come across this ability, bench press. It is super overpowered. I hope it gets nerfed sometime soon. But in the meantime, I am going to add it to all of my corners. I don't run a lot of man coverage, but when I do, I want to be able to bench press the crap out of people. I'm sure I'll be pressing a lot even when I'm in zone coverage as well. So I think this ability is going to be really good. And it is only one AP. Now, the next corner we're adding to the team is going to be Byron Jones. It cost me around 220k for his power up, his 83, and then his 90 overall. But this guy has really good speed, really good press, really good for this bench press meta that is going on at the moment. This guy is going to make plays for us. I think he's going to be a really solid number two corner. Wow, look at those boosted sets 91 speed, 93 agility, 87 man, 92 zone, 94 press. Stats speak for themselves, I think. Now, we are a little bit short on training. I do want to add bench press to Byron Jones. I do want to go ahead and fully power up the final addition to the team as well. So we need the training. Let's go ahead and pick up that guy 100K. Please do not laugh at me if I just bought a guy overpriced. I'm not sure what the best training value is at the moment, but I think that's sitting around 27, 28 per so. I think that's pretty solid value. Now we have one final player to add to the team. I need a corner. I need a guy that is tall. I need a guy with good speed. A guy that's going to make plays for us. And I think the new 50 Namdi Asama is going to fit that description to a T. Now I have gone ahead and sniped a bunch of these 81 overall fresh players. I was able to get most of them for less than 20k. All up I spent maybe 400,000 coins. A little bit less than that to pick up the 20 that I needed. I got 12 from doing the solo, so all up 400K to be able to pick up maybe the best corner in the game. There it is, the power up first, but if we go across, checking out that beautiful animation, 
91 Namdi Asamoah. Now I've got to be honest, the move should be to go ahead and sell the power up. The power up is ridiculously overpriced, going for around 300k because it only costs us around 400k to do that set. We could sell this and we would have picked up a 91 overall corner for less than 150k, which is really good value. But uh, I've got to be honest, I don't really care. I'm going to fully power him up. I want him fully boosted. He's going to lock down his area of the field. I'm super hyped to be able to add this guy to the team. Now it does seem like we need a little bit more training so i'm going to spend another 50k we're going to be able to quick sell this guy and i think that should be all the training we need to fully finish off our team going ahead and adding that man namdi into the power up there he is how good does that card art look going ahead and checking out the stats after we add bench press and lockdown 90 speed 94 man 94 press this guy is six foot three he's like a fast version of richard sherman I'm super excited to add this guy to the team. After spending all of those coins, what's another 50k to finish off and get the training we need to add some X Factors to our defense? Now, I have thought a little bit about the X Factors that I do want to add to the team. I thought about having something like Unstoppable Force, but I think with the amount of coverage that I play, having universal coverage on a bunch of our guys is going to be the move. So we're going to add it to Namdi. Let's go ahead and add it to Byron Jones as well. And then finally, let's add it to Jamal. He's going to be all over the field. So I think having him with that ability is going to be really useful. After all that, I'm not even sure how many coins we spent to improve this defense. Maybe 1.1, 1.2 million coins. But this is the defense we're working with. Boys, this looks super glitchy. Atwater boosts to 91, Lawrence Taylor, we got a 96 Sam Mills, Jamal Adams is still going to get even better shortly as well, our corners look like they're locked down, we've got some beasts coming off the edge as well, I think this defense looks really really good, now I'm sure some of you noticed that we had some really solid backups, we have Jalen Ramsey, he will get a boost with that Duan James versus the world card, that'll come out in about a week and a half, so I'll power him up, boost him up when that card comes out, we've got Aaron Donald, whenever his cards come out, they are usually the best defensive player at the time, so I'm expecting that to come out shortly or something time over the next couple months we are prepared he's going to be sitting there ready to roll now for the rest of the guys like Von Miller, Patrick Queen, DeForest Buckner and Reggie White they never see the field for me so it doesn't matter who we have at those positions obviously we could add other guys improve the overall but I'm not really too fussed I don't need to spend any more coins for guys that aren't going to touch the field we have spent a lot of coins on guys that are going to actually see the field everyone else we don't really need to worry about now the final thing i do need to do with this defense is make sure i activate all of my abilities all of my x factors so let's go ahead i think if i've planned it out correctly we have all three of our x factors and we've used all 10 of our ap points so uh let's see yeah i think I think we're looking pretty good. We've got three with Miles Garrett right here. And then the final slot, one more with that Acrobat, 10 for 10. Just a quick recap on our X Factor and our abilities on defense. We're running with Namdi, Byron Jones, and Jamal Adams, all with universal coverage. All of our corners, Namdi, Byron Jones, Denzel Ward, all have bench press. We have two edge threats with Lawrence Taylor, with Miles Garrett, and then we have our user, Isaiah Simmons. He has Acrobat to get those glitchy animations. After all of those upgrades, we are up to an 87 overall for the team. I gotta be honest, I cannot be happier with the upgrades we've made. This team looks like a bunch of goons. I'm super excited to finish off Weekend League, grind out, play the rest of these games, finish off the weekend league and have some fun with this new defense. Before we finish up today, I do want to quickly talk about some of my plans for the offense. I want to pick up Reggie Bush. I think that card is going to be super glitchy. I want to upgrade my left tackle, boost him up, maybe just to an 85 overall. And then I want to spend a bunch of coins upgrading the wide receivers. So I think Brandon Cooks would be a good addition. Reggie Wayne would be a faster slot receiver that gets the same abilities as Drew Bennett. Maybe someone like Tyrone Calico, I think, would be a really good addition as well now obviously all of those additions are going to be really expensive we have a good amount of coins we have some guys to sell we're probably going to get close to the million coin range again we'll have weekend league rewards so we'll have plenty of coins to spend but tomorrow i'll be dropping a video talking about a way 
to pick up 50 players really, really, really cheaply. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But that's going to be about it for today, folks. I'm really loving the upgrades we've made to the team. I'm going to have some fun playing a bit of weekend league with them. Obviously, once we add the upgrades to the offense as well, this team is going to be more than competitive to pretty much keep up with any team. So I'm excited about that. The no money spend team will be able to make plays. Hopefully next weekend we'll be able to have our best finish so far in weekend league. Now, if you have any advice for maybe some guys that I should look to add to my team, definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video if you stuck around to the end make sure you go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button but yeah thank you very much for coming through take it easy everyone you can call me spree and we out